Hey Flow family, welcome back to the channel. <laughs> My name is Joe Murdoch. If you're new here, welcome. Happy to meet you, happy to have you. If you're not new here, welcome back. Always happy to flow with you, familiar energy, okay? We are getting into it. It's an intermediate, it's an advanced class. It's short and sweet though, yeah? I'm gonna warm you up, then I'm gonna get you moving. We're focusing in on hamstrings and our quads today. And so inviting you, if you have two blocks, bring them in. If you do not have two blocks, again, you can still absolutely take the class. Um, I'm just gonna name it. There's gonna be a little bit more effort without blocks, okay? But very much doable. So comfortable clothes, yoga mat, grab what you need, and I'll see you in just a little bit. My loves, let's come down to the mat for our warm up. Again, this is gonna be short and sweet, but I'm gonna give you a warm up just to make sure we are present in our body. Um, and the body understands we need it for the next few moments to move um, in the ways that feel best. You know, just a little bit of permission. Are you willing and are you able? So once you come to your back, go ahead and pull both of your knees in towards your chest. Wrap your arms around your shins, your knees, and take a gentle rock side to side for the low back to connect, for the low back to get a little bit of a massage. Maybe your eyes are closed and you just start to melt the week away, the day away. Whatever happened before you stepped on your mat, melt that away. Start to create space for play. Start to create space for hmm, intrigue, questions, um, ideas, amplifications, modifications, honestly anything, okay? Next breath in, we'll fill up. Next breath out, we let it go. <sighs> Good. Release the hands from knees or shins. Flex both ankles. Kick your legs up towards the ceiling. Your hands will come to rest on the hamstrings. And I want you to bend your right leg, heel to seat, back up to ceiling. Left leg, back to ceiling. And it's not about moving quickly. It's really just about waking up your knees, activating your quads, stretching your hamstrings, okay? As we move through our flow, you'll see how that is our focus in body part and theme for this class. <sighs> Two more wherever you are. Legs should be getting nice and hot. Last one, last set. Happy baby. Bend both knees again, this time opening through the low half of the body. Knees are closer to armpits, side body ribs. Hands can come behind your knees, ankles, or Peace fingers to your big toe. Ooh, I never know if y'all can hear when things pop <laughs> in my body, but both uh, legs just created some space, okay? Maybe the legs extend, maybe you stay in happy baby, maybe you rock, or all three, okay? Big inhale, ooh, big exhale. All right, closing up that happy baby, releasing the hands wherever they were gripping, guide your legs back together, left leg long, right leg stays. A moment for ankle circles, wiggling the toes, maybe pointing and flexing. Supine twist, right leg comes across the body, to the left, turn your face to the right. Just one breath in. One breath out. Keep your right leg on the left side of the mat. Take your right arm up and over to turn your torso to face the ground, okay? You might shift your body onto the mat a bit more. So now your front hip and pelvis on the ground, right leg is in half frog. Your arms are in sphinx, cat cow here. Rounding, dropping the head, big breath out. Coming back up, arching, big breath in. Two more. 
Last one. Nice. Coming back to neutral sphinx. Right leg is still in frog. You can go ahead and gather it, add it back to your body, rock your hips, right, left, left, right. Frog on the left, heel to butt. Externally open and rotate your hip. Nothing changes in the upper body, except maybe if you wanna walk elbows and if they moved. You got cat cow again. <sighs> mm. Last one, friends. Good. Coming back to center. So we're reversing everything. We'll take the right arm, right hand, and reach it under the left armpit to find that supine twist. So slide the right arm to the left side. Start to open your twist. Coming back to, ooh, supine, just on the opposite side. Stay here. Mm. Good. Next breath in. We're turning all the way over back onto our back. So pull your left leg in and then shift your body, shift your hips. Right leg is long, left knee towards your chest, ankle circles. Okay. A little bit of a around the world situation for that warm up. Wiggling the toes, pointing and flexing. <sighs> nice. Big breath in. Big breath out. <sighs> okay, anyway, you'd like, meet me on hands and knees tabletop. I'm gonna pull my legs in and move through <sighs> side lying pose or fetal position, and then pressing up hands and knees. All right. Tuck your toes for me when you arrive. Hands are open like starfish. Lift your hips and find a gentle down dog. That can mean, that can look like knees are bent. It can be a little shorter than your normal down dog. It can be that you are using your breath a little deeper and longer than usual. <sighs> this down dog is meant to support you. Even though, yes, we are supporting ourselves, literally holding ourselves up, but it supports you and it feels sustainable. Let's get into this flow. So taking a moment, always, nothing has to look like anything. Again, focus on hamstrings and quads. Again, focus on play, curiosity, joy. Walk your feet together behind you in down dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up, three leg, okay? From here, right foot steps between your thumbs, moving forward through plank. Any steps, take as many as you need, any amount. Lower your back knee down, Anjaneyasana. Pressing into your right foot to lift your chest off your thigh, arms sweep up. Maybe you lift your gaze. Maybe arms up doesn't feel too good, not yet. Come to your knee or keep your fingertips on the ground, right? So I like to call this Anjane your way. Make it make sense. One more big breath in. Hands come to the mat, half split breath out. Hips move back in space. Still a little bit of a bend on that right leg, doesn't need to be locked out. Toes are up. You're maybe on fingertips or friends with those blocks. Your hands would be on blocks here, okay? And when the toes go up, see if the face can go down. Ooh. Maybe pull your right hip back about half a centimeter, bend your elbow, see if there's more. Mmm, big breath here again, y'all. Fill it up, empty it out. <sighs> Beautiful, lift your face. It's gonna get spicy right here. Fingertips or hands on blocks. Engage your low belly. Okay, you're pushing down to lift up. What are we lifting up? We're lifting up the right heel. Maybe a centimeter, does not have to be five feet off the ground. Okay, it can give a centimeter. So pressing into fingertips or your block, we lift. Activating your quad and your kneecap on the right and lower down. Whoo, you'll find that your low back rounds a little bit. That's okay, you're doing it right. Second time, press down, lift up, lift up. Core is active and lower. Whew. 
Very, very nice. Rebend your right leg. Walk it forward with your blocks or your hands. Tuck your back toe, lift your back knee, warrior two. Back heel spins. We cartwheel the chest up and arrive. Shoulders over your hips, back heel down, pinky toe side of the foot matches the back of your yoga mat. And then we press to both of those pinky toes. Strong arms, right forward, left back, bend a little deeper. Front palm flips, front palm reverse. Big inhale. Ooh. Big exhale, come back up. Okay. A little twisting, shifting of weight. From warrior two, maybe a little watch asana. So if you wanna look at the screen first and then you can join me. Back left heel spins up and out. So like we're moving into high lunge, but your arms keep going, your back knee bends. Left hand to the mat on the inside of the right foot. So big toe side. Pull your back knee in, sit down, okay? Turn it into a full twist. Full breath in, left arm wraps around your right leg. Good. If you were watching, go ahead, take that shape, back heel spins up. Turn towards your front bent leg. Bend your back leg, pull it in. Left hand to mat to support you. Sit, find your twist. When you arrive, breath in. Breath out. Again, breath in. Breath out. Release this seated twist, low lunge. Hands come down in front of you. Open like starfish, press onto your right foot. You're on the left knee. Send the left leg back so toes are to the mat. Plank pose, right leg matches. Take your vinyasa. <sighs> Maybe that's baby cobra. Lower down to belly, lift your chest. Press your toenails, hover hands. Exhale, let it go. Push up back. Hands and knees, tabletop, and then down dog. But if that looks like your up dog, same idea. Lower down, bending elbows. Flip, flip to the tops of your feet. Lift your chest. Lift your hips, thighs and kneecaps. Okay, that's your up dog. Then lift your hips more, roll over the toes, down dog. Okay, friends. Left side, take a breath in. Take a breath out. Ooh. Feet are closer together in that down dog. Left leg floats up, three leg, down dog, breath in. Step between your thumbs, breath out. Ooh. Take as many steps, modifications, adjustments as you need, right? I need it to make sense. I always want it to make sense. Anjane, your way. Maybe you're still starting with hands down or kneecap or lifting. Eyes float up, shoulders fall down. Take a breath in. Mm, settle deeper, breath out. Very nice, friends. And just know that if hands are down, kneecap or up, and it starts to not serve you, you can change it. You can always change it. Final breath here. Hands come down to the mat or your yoga blocks. <sighs> Half split, okay. Shifting the weight back. Left leg can be slightly bent. Toes are up, face goes down. Pull the left hip back about a centimeter. <sighs> Beautiful stretch for back of leg, and depending on how much you let that head fall, it's a beautiful stretch all the way to the back of the neck. Mm. Good, next breath in as we lift the face, getting spicy now. Hands are on blocks or hands are on the mat. Engage your core, okay? Pull left hip back. Heel goes up as you press down through your hands. Let it shake, all good, lower down. Ooh. And let me name it. <laughs> if that leg starts to cramp, go back to Anjane real quick to release it. Be that's what just happened to me. Okay, take a second. Okay, come back. <sighs> second time, yes, we're doing it again. Press down, lift up, hold it, breathe, 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 and lower. Very nice, full breath in. Warrior two on the breath out. <sighs> Rebend, tuck back toe, lift back knee. Coming up, warrior two. Okay, this is real yoga. When things start to cramp, you gotta step out real quick. <laughs> if you're falling out of a shape, fall, catch, 
get back into it, right? Please, if it was perfect, it wouldn't be a practice, okay? What are we doing here? Pressing to pinky toes, opening up through the groin, shoulders over hips, so check it out. You can always run your hand up your side body to see if you are in fact stacked. If you're not, you're gonna find you're on a diagonal when you move your hands up. Okay, we're stacked. Full breath in, bend a little deeper on that left if it's available. <sighs> breath out, flip it, reverse it, take it up and back. Big side body stretch and opening. Good, coming back up to the top. Here we go, this is a lot of core work, so I wanna name it. You wanna think about pressing down through your front left foot since the right is gonna start moving, which turns it into a balancing moment where we have high lunge. So let's get it. A moment to think, focus. Back heel starts to lift and spin. You're on the ball of your right toes. Arms are open like a um, airplane, because that's gonna give you space to wobble and catch yourself, okay? Twisting to the left leg. Right hand comes down as you lean forward. Right knee bends and pulls in. Sit down with left leg on top, big twist. Right arm hugs your left thigh. If again you were doing Vachasana, start to move into this seated twist now. Whew. Full breath in, full breath out. One more time. Full breath in, full breath out. We got one more as a collective. Breath in, breath out. <sighs> okay. Releasing your big hug, big twist. Turn back to the front low lunge. Hands like starfish to the mat. Press into left foot, step back with your right. Left leg matches for plank. Take that vinyasa of choice. This would be your up dog, flipping to tops of feet, lifting chest, and see where um, groin, thighs, and knees are off the mat. Good, lift hips, roll over toes. Flip, flip to downward facing dog. All right, y'all, we're doing it again. Yes, uh, fluid, play. Enjoy the gift of mobility and ability, yeah? Nothing has to look like anything. I really just enjoy getting on my mat to create these videos because a lot of it is play for me. And I, I hope that in the practice and on the journey, it's not just I gotta get it, gotta stick it, gotta do it. There's moments of I gotta enjoy it, I gotta play. I, I laughed when I fell out of this. I laughed when I tried that. I surprised myself when I did that, okay? Let's get it, y'all. Hands to mat. Downward dog if you're not there already. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, anjane your way. Exhale, half split. Lift your face for the breath in. Fold for the breath out. <sighs> Inhale, lift your chest and lift your heel. Ooh. Exhale, lower. <sighs> Second time. Inhale, lift your chest, lift your heel. Exhale, lower. <sighs> Inhale, shift your weight forward. Exhale, warrior two, coming up. Okay, inhale to reverse, up and back. Exhale, bring it back. <sighs> inhale, finding that twist seated on the mat. Good, exhale, deepen and hug your right knee. You've got five in that twist. You've got four, drop your shoulders. You have three to lift your chin. Last two, last one. On the exhale, release, low lunge, hands to mat, right foot plants, left leg sends it back, plank pose, your vinyasa. <sighs> Downward facing dog to settle and prepare for the left. Inhale, left leg floats. Exhale, step through, low lunge. <sighs> Back knee down, Anjane your way. 
Inhale. Exhale, half split, hands down. Whew. Stay here, lengthening. Stay here to fold. Whew. Inhale, coming up, lift your heel. Ooh. And lower down, breath out. <sighs> Second time. Inhale, lift your heel. Exhale, lower down. <sighs> Big breath in, coming forward. Big breath out, warrior two. <sighs> Stay with it. Inhale, reverse, up and back. Good. Exhale, come back to neutral. <sighs> Let's go. Big transition. Inhale, moving into a seated twist. Exhale to arrive, hug your left leg. We stay for five, getting taller. Four, looking over your shoulder. Three, big breath out to relax. Two, inhale, and one, exhale. Beautiful release that twist. Hands to the mat, low lunge. Step back with your right as you unravel your legs. Step back with your left for plank. Take your flow. <sighs> Baby cobra or up dog. Let's go to child's pose. Open the knees, tap the toes, send the hips back, breath in. <sighs> breath out. Very nice, y'all. Stay in that child's pose. Ooh. Move your hips left and right, right and left, until maybe they fall a little closer to your heels or start to nestle and settle into a shape you can sustain. <sighs> if legs wide don't feel good, close them. Let your thighs rest on your belly. That's also an option. Friends, feel free to take the flow again one more time. If not, this is where you rest and this is where you settle. So I'm inviting you on the next inhale. Slowly walk your hands up and in. If legs were open, go ahead and close them. Drop to any hip. Swing your legs around, lay down. Find your back, find your shavasana shape. Good. A moment to come in and out, a moment to move the body, build heat. A moment to play, yes? So I leave you here in your Shavasana to recap what you've done, consider doing it again, and or just resting because your body showed up and you can sit in gratitude, thanking it for what it has done. Thank you so much for flowing with me. As always, I'll see you in the next class. My name is Joe Murdoch, AKA Flow Joe. Please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already, but for sure, definitely hit that like button and leave a comment. Let me know what you liked about this flow. I'll see you soon, family.